Hello, my soul tribe. Welcome to my channel. I'm Celeste TT Tarot, and please like, share, and subscribe. This is a message I did for my Aquarius out there. So it could be considered a daily message for today, the 27th, February. Um, you could take it for the rest of February month, and or um, you could take it however reson take whatever resonates, leave whatever doesn't. But the readings are timeless, um, and you can check out for whatever placements you have in your chart. So Aquarius, um, the first spread that I did for you, um, I already shuffled the deck and prayed to the universe. The first spread that came out for you was um, that I pulled from the everyday, um, her everyday oracle. And it says here, choose to see the truth in all situations, but speak with love and kindness when talking about yourself and others. And that's card number 48. I believe Virgo had that, so you can have that in your chart or be dealing with one. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, it said, um, not everyone can go where you are going. You are being encouraged to find acceptance in this card number 30. Um, and I believe Libra had that. You could have that somewhere in your chart or be dealing with one as well. So, um, the next thing that I did is I pulled a card from the Tarot of the Orishas and the card that came out for you is a message from the water. So I'm going to pull that up in the Orisha's, um, in the Orisha book for you. And then I'm going to read that to you. So here it is right here. So this is a message from the message from water. It says here, upright, triumphant victory, maximum pleasure in realizing that you were able to defeat the difficulties either with or without the help of others, material and or energetic factors on any level and in interpretation. You have resorted to your integrity as a thinking and rational being and defeated base desires and interests as a way to reach your proposed aim. As a result, your plans came true. All this may be hard at the beginning, but not at all unpleasant. Okay. So you had a triumphant victory. It kind of can be seen, even though it's a water energy. Um, you see her in the horse. Uh, it's kind of like victorious. It, it, it sounds like the six of wands. So a lot of my Aquarius out there are facing victory, even though it was a difficult situation. And you might not have had the necessary help that you needed from others. Okay, Aquarius. And then we have the, at the bottom of the deck, we have here the eight of air right here. So this is like the Eight of Swords in the regular Rider right Waite Tarot spread. And the Eight of Swords can, is air energy, which uh, would be your energy shared with uh, Gemini and Libra. And it talks about being stuck in your head, um, mentally stuck in your head, feeling like you're in prison to your chat. Um, so it says a desire to seize and imprison something pure and innocent. Truth cannot be hidden or detained. The bars represent the ignorance and wicked foolishness of ha of hangman stopping what should naturally evolve in finding other courses or destinies i rather say annoying truths than flattering compliments um and this phrase belongs to lucius seneca um 4 bc to 65 a.d a roman philosopher a writer of tragedies who made brothers of the slaves okay so i rather say annoying truths than flattering compliments okay truth cannot be hidden or detained so, um, there, you may feel like you were in a situation that you were stuck in, or people made you feel, made you feel like, or made you to believe that you were stuck in it, but you were actually victorious in getting out of that situation because no matter how much, um, people try to detain or imprison the truth, it can't be hidden or detained. And you were able to successfully overcome that situation, um, despite the hardships and difficulties, even if you had to do it alone. So congratulations a lot of my Aquarius is out there. Um, so we have pride and ego. Okay. Prideful and e and egoist. Okay. So there could be somebody that you were dealing with that was prideful in their pride and ego that tried to trap you. Um, and you were able to see the truth. And, but you still spoke with love and kindness in a situation which made you, um, victorious, which made you dignified because you spoke with truth, love and kindness, 
Um, so that person um, who was being prideful and ego, egotistical and wanted to make you feel like you were stuck, you were able to successfully overcome that. Take it however it resonates, um, Aquarius. We also have pink, rose. Uh, so this could be a significant color for you or someone you're dealing with. It could be your favorite color. Okay. We also have divine timing. So divine timing is at play here um, when it comes to your situation. Um, but you're already victorious. So I see full steam ahead um, towards your new adventure or wherever you're going. Um, one year we have un año. So um, it could take one year for this to occur or one year for you to see the fruits of your labor or whatever you were victorious from. Or maybe you see you've already been victorious. Um, and maybe it'll take one year for whoever you were dealing with their pride and ego to come down. Um, because instead of imprisoning you because you live with the truth, they end up imprisoning themselves in a mental prison. And you're over here victorious. If this is the other person, um, if this is you at first then this is you now, okay? We have king and queen of swords, air energy, which is your energy. Aquarius, also Gemini and Libra energy. So you're sitting in king and queen um, swords energy and you're embodying your natural energy and that's someone who's intelligent, wise, um, calculative, but practical, speaks the truth in all things. It's kind of like using the ace of swords, a divine grant of clarity and truth. So the king and queen of swords tells the truth. Okay. Um, we also have karmic. So there could be a karmic situation or a karmic person that you were dealing with that, um, that truth had to be spoken. Um, for you, we also have six months. So some of you guys, um, six months could be significant for you. You could see something happen in six months. We have your energy here, Aquarius, the star, hope, wish fulfillment, healing, tranquility, peace. Um, and that's from January to February. We're currently in February. We just passed Aquarius season. Card number 17 on the Rider Way Tarot spread here. So Aquarius, you're sitting in your energy once again, um, being victorious. We have tower, drastic changes here. Um, so there was a tower moment, which was like destruction, chaos. It could be um, a difficult situation, as they mentioned in the card, but you were able to successfully overcome it. Um, and then it says, I'm grieving the loss of a lover here. So some of my Aquariuses out there could be grieving the loss of a lover. Um, I really apologize if someone passed away um, and or if you had to break up or had a breakup or a separation in a relationship um, so I really apologize if that's your situation. No one wants to hear that. Um, however, it happens in life. Um, and we have to know to move forward. You will be victorious and able to overcome that Aquarius. If that is your situation, um, man or female or regardless of gender, it says you're important. Find your purpose. Okay. So you are important. Find your purpose. And you're going to be victorious in doing that. It could happen in a year. It could happen in six months, Aquarius. Um, and you have a lot of cards because when I was pulling your cards, the, the book just fell out. So and the, the divine told me to take it all. So I did. I have to be obedient here. So we have Mater giving more than receive. So this could have been some of the situations for some of my Aquariuses out there that you felt like you were giving more than you were receiving and the universe did not want you to be in that situation. It was a difficult situation, made you feel like you were stuck, um, but you were not stuck and you were able to be victorious. And then it says here, you are magic, have faith in your abilities, doubt kills more dreams than failure. Okay. So have faith you are victorious, Aquarius, if you're still going through the situation, um, if you just came out of it, um, the universe is saying you will be victorious. And it says, take it slow. Um, so live in the present moment, take a breath, take it slow, take your time. You don't have to rush into it and be on everybody else's page um, because you have good fortune coming for you. Um, Aquarius, you have the will of fortune here. Card number 10, destiny, luck, change, chance, changes opportunity and you have good karma here i'm going to say in aquarius you are on the will of fortune card number 10 in the right of rate tarot deck so your energy is also here that you have good fortune and how you handle things and combined with all the cards um i would say that's definitely uh so it also has taurus scorpio and leo so you could be dealing with one of those i have that in your chart and then right under here i actually saw the sun leo actually got their card the sun just like you got yours so you both are sitting your energy you could be dealing with one or have that strongly in your chart 
It says good fortune, happiness, joy, harmony, vitality, clarity, enlightenment, a fire energy, and Leo, okay? So that was right under the will of fortune. So you're going to get your happiness back, Aquarius. Okay, just hang in there. You are already victorious or you will be victorious. So trust in the universe. Um, divine timing is at play. So that's the message I have for you today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Talk to you soon.